Jay's Tunnel here. Um, today we're talking about the loggerhead sea turtle and if you find a stranded sea turtle. Um, unfortunately, this one has passed away. It's a big loggerhead. Um, so what I did whenever I found it, uh, you know, I called it in. So there's a few rehab facilities we have here in the Texas Coastal Bend. And uh, that's the Texas State Aquarium, the Amos Rehabilitation Keep, and the Texas Sea Life Center. And all do a really good job on rescuing uh, live animals and, and uh, if they're sea turtles, bird, uh, sea turtles will come get them if they've uh, passed away. Um, but these things come up for all different kinds of reasons. Um, if you find one, if it's alive or if it's dead, you call 1-866-TURTLE-5 and that they will put you in contact with the right facility to come pick it up but this one let me pick up the camera here and kind of show you uh whenever you come up on them if you see them um no need to touch them or anything like that uh normally whenever the people come to rescue them they'll wear gloves because these could have diseases um, and if they're alive, you know, you don't want to give them diseases and you definitely don't want their diseases. Um, so, uh, uh, once they get them and they um, take them back to the facility, they have uh, swimming pools uh, that they can put them in to make sure that they can float, make sure they can feed them, they t check their blood, make sure their vitals are okay, just like an emergency room. Now this one here is a male. And you know how I know that? Look at the size of that tail. So the tails of a fe the tail of a female would not go beyond the carapace. So the carapace is the top part, but but the tail would go uh, end about right here versus how big this one is. So this is a big male, and uh, you know these things can live 70 to 80 years old. Uh, this one, in particular. Uh, man, who knows? This thing could be um, uh, 30, 40 years old. I mean, it's a big one. You can see it has these barnacles. When I first walked up here, there were birds feeding on the, the barnacles and other things that were on top of it. Um, the little ready turnstones. Yeah, so normally whenever they come out here to pick up the dead ones, what they're going to do, and the live ones, is they measure it. Uh, and then they, they have a scanner that they scan this front part because if this turtle has been into rehab before, it will have a pit tag in it about that big. And when they scan it, uh, it will bring up a number. If, if it has a, one of those tags, it'll bring up a number and then they'll know why it came in, how long it was here, where it was at, all that kind of stuff. You know, just like if you were at a... Um, at a hospital you know they have a record for you it's the same type of thing with this so the main thing i wanted to show you here uh, is that if you find a sea turtle where to call uh, don't try to to touch it or anything like that somebody will come out uh, but this one's been called in and so hopefully they'll be here soon to be able to pick it up okay that's it for this episode of beach coming talk to you later bye